Well, our trip in Myanmar, Burma, ends tomorrow, and we will fly from Hiho to Yangon. So before Jamie and Richard leave, and May May goes on to another group, I am going to do the awards. I always think it's fun. I don't know. People laugh, so maybe they think so too. I hope those that get the awards uh, thought it was fun. <laughs> I really do. Betty has had so many awards from me for all the trips we've been on. She's bored. She says, can't you do something more original? Well, for gosh sakes, how many things can you think of? Uh, I cannot do awards if there are more than 18 people. Like, if you have a group of 35, I can't do that. Uh, it's too many people, and sometimes you never even get to talk to some of them. So I just do the small, small groups. And I do the awards at home. I take a paper plate and I think of something. This award goes to, and then I leave it blank. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, who is a party, an <coughs> party animal? <clears throat> and I will take pictures from magazines and from brochures and uh, anything I see through the year. I always save. I've got a black box that I save stuff in like that. And then I'll put uh, lions, pictures of lions roaring and monkeys hanging from trees, anything wild that a party animal would be. And there was one, <coughs> this was from the one that, uh, the most beautiful award, and this is, goes to so-and-so, who is beautiful on the outside, but more beautiful in the inside. A nice, really nice person. I always try to choose a really gracious person and <clears throat> then I put flowers on it and, and something and you know somebody's sweet as sugar you know you put little packets of sweet and low and <laughs> just whatever you can think of you know but I, it's really fun and I do it I've done it for years um, let's see where was I now so now up at 5 a.m. suitcases out of the door by 5.30 Eat and, uh, and leaving at 6 o'clock. Get in the long boat with the life preserver and umbrella and your luggage and go in the rain with a stiff wind blowing. I thought that umbrella was going to blow my, over my head and encompass me. Try to keep the wind and the rain off of yourself. The rain kept trying to leak on our slacks and it was ice cold. So we go for an hour and a half like that. Then we get out. And we get on the van, and another... This is not a luxury trip, you can tell from that. There's lots of people that would be very upset about that, but we just took it as, oh, well, it's part of the trip, we don't care. So uh, we get in a van, and we have to drive another hour to the plane. Now, people are stuck on the road with rubber boots on and another day of rain. Um, trucks are stuck in the mud off of the shoulder. And life goes on. You know, we saw a lot. <laughs> Everybody was out there doing something in the mud. We are back to the fabulous, fabulous Pan C Hotel. I've never, I say it's better than the Imperial. I think Betty kind of ha has her doubts about the Imperial in, in Delhi. Uh, but uh, I, uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, Betty and I are staying in today for the afternoon. We aren't taking the town tour. We're not going to see what's here. We can kind of figure out what it is. Instead, we are resting, we are showering, and we are shampooing, and we are looking at TV to see what disaster has struck. It was really a good break from all the running around that we did. On the Pan Sea also has a TV, and it is in color. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, such beautiful rooms. Oh, you'd think you were Jackie Onassis, you know? <laughs> 